It's a girl, Queen at Hubert in Hollywood Milkshake. It's your favorite boy, Jerry Williams. And I'm here to let you know where to watch, I mean, bangers, action movies. I need you all to subscribe to Arrow Dreams Nolly TV on YouTube. And trust me, you watch Nollywood movies, is gonna be interesting. Love you guys. you don't have but I can see that you have no respect at all doesn't look to me that your mother did much of a job enough enough of your shenanigans madam when I said it was enough I meant every single word you can insult me all you like but don't you ever bring in my parents into this because they did a better job on me than your parents did on you how dare you how dare you what that you had the right to run your mouth and I shouldn't run my mouth just because you're older than me who the hell do you think you are you know, I really salute you, Rutana, for enduring you. You are so annoying. If you were to be my mother, I would have disowned you long time ago, but I still look for a way to kill you. Hey! Where are you coming from? Oko? <laughs> Oko? Ne, I'm always looking good. Of if course I, I remember. Know of course I remember. Well, know. I'm coming from my shop. You know how important to always uh, creep on those girls, no matter how professional you think they may be. <sighs> I know, my dear. I know. But I hope there's no problem. Oh, no, there's no problem. Oh, what am I even saying? <sighs> even if there is, it wouldn't be as big as the one at hand. Yes, problem. <laughs> Where is the problem? Hey, you mean you, you've not heard? Heard what? What happened? In Okoya? It's about that girl called Chim Diche. What happened to Chim Diche? <laughs> eh, what about her? <laughs> what happened to her? Angelica, my sister, the latest news circulating the village now is that your own daughter-in-law is about to be stolen by some other man. Yes. Dokas Haba. How is that possible? Huh? When I, Angelica, mm. is the one calling the shots. Okay. Look, Dokas, if you want to pull my legs, then come up with something better. At least something new. <laughs> Angelica. Wait, you think I'm lying to you? How can I do such thing? I am telling you what is happening right now in Adibe's house. Wait, are you, are you asking me if I'm joking with you? Who said I'm joking? It's not a joke. I came here and your housekeeper told me you went to your supermarket. As I speak to you now, there's fire on the mountain. Wait, 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 wait. Dorcas, you mean this is happening right now? It's happening now, now. I won't even be surprised if she had already said yes. Driver! Chico! Driver! What did I say wrong now? What give me your we all do? Chindiche, listen to me. You must marry that young man. Papa, I will not marry him. I will not marry him or will never marry him. Marriage is not by force. Oh gosh. It's a lie. By the verdict of your father and as the head of the family. The veto power I have, I have decreed that you must marry that young man. Papa, you will not force me to marry a man whom I don't like. Did you even see the way he dressed? The way he talks? Papa, that man is a complete illiterate. Whether illiterate you or no illiterate, it's not important. Okay. The important thing is that that young man is doing well in his line of business. And he can take good care of you. I don't need him. 
don't want him now. Lotanna is the one I'm already seeing in that position. He's the one I love. Lotanna is the only man I will marry. Papa! Why do what, what, what you want to provoke me by mentioning the name of that stupid boy? That stupid boy that I have never come here to make his intention known that he wants to marry you. And you are living in a world of fantasy. Believing he will marry you. How are you? Why are you overstretching this whole thing? She has made her choice. Eh? Why are you dragging this whole thing? Are you going to force her to marry a man he, he, she doesn't like? Oh. Bravo! I know who you are. Yeah. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. I am not going to ask you. I am not going to ask you. Look at what you have turned her to. Always supporting her. Every little thing she do. Both right and wrong, you support her. Look at it. It's not a matter of who is supporting who and who is not supporting who. We cannot force our daughter into a marriage she clearly doesn't want. Oh. It's not about using veto power, decreeing and all that. Marriage is not by force. It's not. She has made her choice. Period. You people have convinced her. Have brainwashed. You are brainwashed. You have brainwashed her. You and uh, what do they call her? Angelica or what? Your friend. You have made her live in a world of fantasy, in a dream world. That a young man that has never shown interest is going to marry. He will not marry you. He will marry me. Wake up from your dream. He will not marry you. He will marry me, Papa. Lotanda will marry me. He will marry her. Chindiche. Chindiche. He will marry. My mother in law. My mother in law. My mother in law. What is it? Let me break your leg. You're going to be outside. Oh, you're going to be outside. What is it? Look, you cannot do this. You cannot do this and you know it. I don't understand. What is it that I cannot do? That I cannot get my daughter married? Exactly my point. That is exactly my point. You cannot do that. When you already know she's married to my rich son. When did that happen? Because I cannot remember marrying off my daughter to you or to your so-called rich son. Huh? Yes. Nice no, stop it. Stop it in nine. Stop embarrassing yourself and stop embarrassing us as well. We had an agreement with Madame Angelica. And that is the only reason she sent our daughter to school. Listen me. Eh? I never had any agreement with anybody. You see? Yes! And I can't remember begging anybody to send my daughter to school. What is this now? Eh? What is this? Why do you like stress? What's an agreement? Why do I like stress? You are the one that's been foolish here. You said you love her son. Both of you want to get married. Has he ever been to this house to see you? Have I ever seen both of you discussing at fluency husband to be? Are, are, you, are you not being foolish? Then let me be, Papa. Let me be. Mm -hmm. For God's sake, this is my life. It's my life. And I will choose to live it anyhow I want. I love Lotanda mm -hmm. and he's the only man I'm ever going to marry. Accept this and have peace. Simple and short. Let me be is a simple English. I love Lotanda. It's also a simple English language. Accept it or leave it in cab and not see school kind of She has made her choice. What is your problem? I don't have anything to say to you. We have score to set. We don't have any scores to set. Let me reserve my energy for my son. Mba, don't worry. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. please, don't be angry with me. Oh, it's just stress. Oh, that's all. I thought as much. In fact, it's written all over him. Eh? See, I am not angry with you. And I can never be angry with you. You are my choice. Mm. And I love you. Yeah? Thank you. See, I love you too. Much. I'm, I'm happy. Mm. I'm happy you rejected whoever he, he tried to impose on you. 
Eh? That's all that matters to me. Um, <laughs> come on, you babe. Don't worry. Me, go and get her seat. Let me get you something soft to drink. <laughs> you go to very strong. Eh? Madam Angelica can never be weak. Eh? Okay. Make it Thank you, thank you, my wife. Hello. Hmm? Wife material, 100 yards. Look at shit. Hey. Oh, my God. You shouldn't have bought that. I'm going to put you on Eh? See, I am not hey. a visitor. Let me get you something to I eat. am not a visitor now. I know him, man. Only very bad, more on all the above. If I did, eh? Obviously, don't want it. Thank you. <laughs> but Darling. before I start enjoying whatever is in this plate, eh? How can your husband do a thing like this now, eh? Honestly speaking, to tell you the truth, I don't blame him. I don't blame my husband at all. It's been five whole years since you declared your son's interest in marrying our daughter. Oh yes, I am very grateful for you seeing her through, through her secondary school and now university. But let's face the facts. Does your son truly love my daughter? Ah, is it me? Are you the one asking this kind of question? Of course, Lutana, my son, loves your daughter very much. In fact, he's madly in love with her. <laughs> then let him step up to his responsibilities. Let him step up and make uh, 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 my daughter his wife. He has never visited this house for one day. Tell me, what does that tell you? It simply tells me that my son is very much interested in your daughter. Look, my son is a very rich man. He has businesses all over the world. He travels from China to Germany, from Germany to Japan, UK, London, USA, everywhere. He's a very busy businessman. Look, he has so many projects at hand. So as an international and intelligent businessman, he's focusing on them one after the other. Look, I understand how you feel, but don't worry. I'll make sure he comes here to do the right thing. Oh, you will, Ogomo, answer me now. Will you do that? <laughs> Isn't that you the one asking this question? Don't you know what I'm capable of? <laughs> this is Angelica promising you. I know I've always trusted you. If you say you will do that, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> really, Mama? You talk to me. Anne. See, you don't have any problem. You know what? So before you go back to school, I will make sure Lotana comes here and do the need for. <laughs> See, the only thing you owe me is to continue to be the good girl you are. Of okay? course, Mama. Mm. She has always been a good girl. I know. You can count on me. I know. <laughs> and that is why I looked around the whole community and I decided to pick from your house. Hey, look at her. I'm so happy. She's everything. I mean, everything a man needs in a woman. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Oh, you me, huh? <laughs> Picking my calls now. Huh? Does he mean he's not back yet? Or he's purposely ignoring my calls?
Yes, who is that? Isn't he? Oh, my dear, you're here. Come inside. Good morning, Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Please sit. How was the night, Mama? It was fine. It doesn't look like you slept at all. Mm, my dear, I won't lie to you. I didn't sleep a wink throughout the night. Why now? What happened? Was it your heart again? It's my son. My son has sworn to trouble me to death. I bet he already knows what you wanted to talk about. That's why he's ghosting you. He knows, right? Mm -hmm. And he's pretending like he's too busy to even say hello. Come on, hello. Or maybe not. Maybe he's actually busy. You know how these city guys can be. You don't know my son. My son can never be too busy for me. Especially when we haven't spoken for so long. There's definitely something he's hiding from me. Yes. And I am going to find out. It's okay, Mama. Have you had something to eat? I could quickly whip you something to eat before going to work. Ah, that's so thoughtful of you. Your recipe is worth dying for. Uh-uh. <laughs> Alright, Mama, give me a moment. I did. And that's why you need to get me something lovely on your way coming back. Sure then, babe. <laughs> um, Hello. baby, I'll call you back, please. Welcome back. Hey. Um, Zebedi, who is this woman and what is she doing in my house? Your house? Zebedi, who is this? Huh? And what is she doing in my son's house? Your son's Oh my goodness, God, you are Lutas, mom. <laughs> Welcome, ma. I've heard a whole lot about you. Welcome. I, I never knew you were Lutas, mom. Lutana is my son. Now, where is he? I need him to come and tell me who you are and what in God's name you're doing in his house. Well, Lutas is not around, but I am Lutas' friend. His friend, you say? Yes. Zebedi, I think I came to the room. Hey, okay, okay, madam. <laughs> what? Who is madam? Sorry. Auntie. Will you shut up your mouth? Will you shut up? If you call your gas fling, madam, what then will you call his wife? Wife? Man cannot tell me saying don't marry you. Madam, wait a minute. You said no, tell me. It's okay. Just take her thing inside, please. 
And Mama, I never knew you were coming, trust me. I would have prepared something delicious for you. But nevertheless, just go in, freshen up and rest while I whip up something nice for you to eat. <laughs> Take the bag inside, please. <laughs> I don't feel like crying away. I don't know why you like crying away. Ooh, I feel like crying away. I feel like crying away. I feel like crying away. I don't feel like crying away. I've been calling this boy. He's not taking or even returning my calls. It is because he has a woman in this house and he doesn't want me to know about it. Really? Luta. Luta now, why? Why would you want to do something like this? When you already know, I have made so much investment in getting a good woman for you. Oh. Hmm. There is no way I am going to allow this happen. Not under my watch. You will come back and beat me in this house. Well, you heard me clear. It seems she doesn't even know about relationships. I mean, even though we've been dating for three years and counting. I can't believe this. Why is she there? And I'm supposed to answer that. I'm sorry, this is a stupid question. Why would, why would she do this? Well, I don't know. But you know what? You have to hurry up with your arrival because at this point she is really pissed. I mean, she's so angry. Okay then, sleep tight. I was about coming to call you. The food is ready. You cooked? Yes, Mama. I, I did. On whose permission? Mama, I, I don't understand. I asked you on whose permission did you carry your lousy self into my son's kitchen? By the way, what exactly are you to him? His wife? Mama, I am Lieutenant's friend. Isn't that what you said? Is this how friends behave? They come to their friend's house and they start feeling overly comfortable and start gallivanting about. Really? Is that how you behave? Ma, I think you're getting everything all wrong. I am not just Luther's friend. I am his son prostitute he picked from the road. But I thought prostitute job ends after the night. Or have you decided to make my son your regular customer? Well, if that is your plan, then you have failed. Because my son is not that kind of a man. My husband and I raised him very well. So there's no way he's going to behave in such a derogating manner. Excuse me, ma'am. With all due respect, I am not a prostitute. I'm just a student trying so hard to survive. A student! A student! A student! Everybody claims to be a student. Really? A student, you say? Student, my foot. That's how you people go about milking people dry. Well, let me tell you. 
If that is your plan, you have failed. Because I am here now. I am here to turn my son's head around. Put him on. Excuse me? Have you suddenly gone deaf? Sorry? Do you have a problem with your ears? I said, when are you leaving? Or do you live here now? You know, first, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because the man who brought you to this house and you refuse to leave even when he is not present. Don't tell me you are homeless. Because I'm sure you must have made so much money by selling yourself and dignity as such a cheap platter. With all due respect, Mama, I've had enough of your insults. 